Hi, I'm Michelle. We're here at Devereux Glen Home School. And I'm the horticulturist here and my assistant, Brittany. And we're enjoying the morning in front of our water garden. The water gardens are gardens too. <laughs> and uh, it's a complete ecosystem. And we have a water source. The pump recirculates to various through various fittings and hoses and it feeds different waterfalls and it just recirculates. It's almost 8,000 gallons and the pump is pumping close to 7,000 gallons per hour, so almost turning over once an hour. There's lots of construction work that goes into it, uh, various timber frames that make the small pools and various filter boxes where the spillways, the water comes through the filter pad and is cleaned as well as going through the stream. And all throughout the stream, there's wooden construction boxes um, that hold the water. So the liner goes in there, covers all that construction timber, um, coping, which is all the stonework, all the beautiful hand-selected stonework with all beautiful lichen, um, and that covers everything. So you'd never know that there was a timber frame underneath it all. Um, so it's uh, a lot of thought went into it and a lot of time. We had a lot of tractors bringing in large stone and small stone and um, yeah, so it was real fun to build. All right, so this is just a very rough diagram of um, my thoughts in terms of uh, how I wanted the water garden to look. But you have your large lower pool and the pump sits outside of the pool. Um, and it goes into a box and that gets a uh, three inch pipe, goes into two inch pipes, but there's various fittings. We have a Y fitting that feeds the upper pool um, with a ball valve so I can control the flow of that water ball. And then we have another pipe going up, teed off to the various other waterfalls and then finally going up to the wall. So when I fire this up in the spring, I do have to readjust um, so that not too much water is coming out of the wall waterfall. Otherwise, it's going to flow over the box into the wall and I'll lose water. Um, and then here's just a, a, a drawing of what I'm talking about with timber boxes. So this waterfall has got its own separate little pool and there's a bunch of timber here that holds this heavy stone. So the, we foam, put foam underneath this stone here. So the water flows up and over the stone instead of escaping underneath. So you've got a nice clean spillway, uh, spill of water. And all the, this stone is covered with the rubber liner, 45 mil, um, kind of like a roofing rubber. Um, and then you have all the coping covering everything. So you'd never know all of this construction was underneath it. And we tuck moss into it and just make it look like a real um, little pond, if you will. It's been here for 12 years. And the pump is the original pump. So every year I take the pump out and we house it in the greenhouse in, in a container of water so the seals don't get dry and brittle. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been here a long time and, and I'm proud of it. And you know, every spring we have to, if the kids, you know, maybe jostle some of the stone or even a bear, we've had bear visits, um, you know, we just build it back up again and fix everything and it's good to go for the next season. Yeah, lots of maintenance. Lots of maintenance. Yes, what do we do, Brett? We like to keep it looking pretty for starters, um, so we do a lot of weed whacking and weeding around the garden. It is a garden, so we have to weed whack around it and weed around it as well as in it. We've got to take a lot of the algae out so it doesn't gunk up the pump and take out the leaves. And, um, and in the fall, we have to cover it with a big giant net, right Brent? Mm -hmm. yes. um, for all these beautiful leaves, so to protect it so that all the leaves get in there. And, clog things up and uh, so we have to do various various seasonal things and then in the spring take the netting off net out leaves that go in and mm -hmm. fire her up and do it all over again but it's a lot of work <laughs> yeah it's a lot of work yes I'm real happy with it it's my pride and joy
Got a frog. <laughs>